Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and quite a few people have asked me to cover more females on this How to Spot a Fake Natty series, and unfortunately I don't have Fat Free Mass Index data on them. It hasn't been a big enough topic for any experts out there to really research and try to figure out what sort of muscle mass and Fat Free Mass Index females can have, but we know that it's going to be lower than males. And I've selected a female to use for today. It is going to be Sophie Arbabrink, who is someone who was suggested to me. I'm not going to be as harsh on her as some others, and here's the reason. She is from Sweden. She lives in Sweden. Because of the laws in Sweden, you cannot admit to steroid use. It, admitting to it will pretty much get you thrown in prison there. And their laws are so strict on it, it's almost tyrannical regarding the use of PEDs in her country of basically looking like you might be on steroids or carrying too much muscle mass is actually probable cause there for the police to pick you up and take you in and have a, a drug test performed on you at the police station. And if they find uh, steroids in your system, you can go to jail for it. That's actually allowed there and it does happen there. There's a reason most pro bodybuilders will not travel to Sweden. And that's actually one of the reasons that even for guest appearances and things, they won't go because they can actually be arrested in a, that foreign country for being too big if they go test them for steroids and they're obviously gonna test positive. So they don't risk it. So I'm not gonna be overly harsh on her. But let's use her as an example because uh, obviously when you look at her, she doesn't have much virilization in the face. So that's actually a good sign. But you do see a little bit of hair loss in some of her photos, like thinning of, of the hair around her scalp. Those are small giveaways. That's the smaller stuff. The bigger thing, when you look at her, just her overall size and thickness is enormous. Her back is extremely wide. Her, but more importantly, her delts are extremely round and capped. When you combine a pretty significant amount of muscle mass on females combined with extreme trapezius and deltoid development combined, generally deltoid development is the biggest giveaway, but you combine that with massive traps, which she has both, that is generally an indication of androgen use in females. And the reason is because the receptors in those muscles are so much stronger and women do not produce many male hormones. So therefore those areas on females tend to grow in despite training much slower in proportion to the rest of their body compared to how a male grows. So when you see women who have almost masculine looking shoulder thickness and roundness and fullness, it's generally an indication that they might be on some creatinine and whey protons. So, she possesses all those characteristics while just being overall really big and massive for her frame. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.